All right, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, hello, hello, hello. What is going on? Welcome to the conclusion of my streaming week. After quite the busy week that we've had here this week, everybody. I mean, think of all the fun stuff that we've done this week so far, right? We had a full playthrough of Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, restarted. One of my classic playthroughs in Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered. Played various fighting games like Fighting EX Layer and Super Turbo. Uh, it's been quite the eventful week, right? A lot of variety around here on the streams. And you guys have been absolutely supportive of everything going on on the streams. And I just want to say thank you for that, okay? That being said, my friends, it is Friday, July 6th, 2018. And... Guess what today is, folks? If you're not watching the stream, if you're watching with your eyes closed and only listening, you may not have known this, but guess what? Today is a momentous occasion because after a year, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, a full year away. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I return to Persona 5. Holy shit, right? Uh, it's pretty momentous for me, because this is a game that I absolutely loved playing last year when it released in April of 2017. I played it for three months. I played it in April, May, and June. Uh, basically, I played it along the guidelines, all right? The guidelines that were set by Atlas of America and posted publicly to their own blog. And I still received copyright strike. Which made no friggin' sense. It, it literally made no sense at all. And now the good news is that I did get the, the strike removed from DSP Gaming on YouTube at the time. But I certainly could not put DSP Gaming in any kind of future risk of having, you know, being shut down because of false copyright strikes. And so I had to put the playthrough on hiatus. Alright? And this the last time I checked, the last time I actually played this game was late June of 2017, and that's when I stopped playing temporarily, and then I got a copyright strike, okay? So, I'm very excited to be returning. I loved playing this game last year. I seriously enjoyed it a ton. You know, as much as I could, I really enjoyed it. It was like the epitome of everything you would want from not only a fun JRPG, but for the Persona series. So many improvements. You know, the dungeons, no longer repetitive and boring. Having two different kinds of dungeons with new puzzles, platforming, and the like in them. Um, you know, the graphics, so much better. The plot, great full voice acting, right? Uh, so much side content to do. There's just so much to do in this game. So, those who don't know, I'm 83... 83... hours into the game. That's pretty damned far into the game, right? 83 hours. And I'm really enjoying the game a lot. And then I, you know, after, I think it's like 344 parts, I had to stop playing it. <laughs> that sucks, right? It really sucks. But now I'm able to bring it back. I'm very excited about being able to bring it back. Um, and I hope you guys are excited to see it return. All right? So this game is going to jump into my rotation of games that I'll be playing uh, this summer. And the bottom line is people are telling me I'm between 20 to 25 hours until I beat it. I am in the, like, the final third of the game, final even maybe final quarter of the game. And people were like, man, it really sucked that Phil had that stop when he did because he was getting right to the best part of the game where the plot picks up and everything's great. And that's when I had to stop. So finally, here we are. A full year later... I'm finally going to get to finish Persona 5 with you guys over the course of this month. This will be a game that I alternate uh, between other games, and I am considering making it a main gameplay stream kind of game, dependent directly on how the streams go. So if you guys show up for the streams, you hang out with me, we have fun, and you know people are contributing, and everything is awesome, and people are really liking it as a mainstream game, I will keep it as a main gameplay stream that I'll alternate amongst other games. But if I play this once or twice as a mainstream and people are like, meh, it's a JRPG, and meh, 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 I don't like those. Which typically, sadly, a lot of people are biased against this kind of game, which I obviously completely disagree with. I think it's a great game. But some people just get so uh, wrapped up in the fact that JRPGs can be repetitive, yada, 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 that they don't show up. 
They'll say, oh, well, when Phil's playing Persona 5, I'm just going to forego the streams or whatever. I hope that's not everyone's, you know, attitude here because, like I said, last year, first of all, the streams last year, even though they weren't getting a crazy amount of attention, all right, they weren't. After playing the game for 80 hours, every time I played Persona 5, I'd have maybe two, 300 people here hanging out with me, and that's cool because those people were engaged. They loved the playthrough, right? They were really digging it, and they were, you know, they were being very supportive, everything. It was great. So that's what I'm hoping to get back. Now, it sucks because in a year, a lot changes. And, you know, some people, you know, aren't even around anymore. Of course, now we got a bunch of new viewers who have come in in the last year to watch my content. So what I will say is this. Thank you to anyone who is here to watch Persona 5. FYI, all of the previous parts of this playthrough are live on DSP Gaming in the Persona 5 playlist, which has 344 parts and is 83 hours long. So you can check that out if you get the chance. I realize it is a daunting task to try to watch that and get caught up on it. Um, I don't blame you if you're like, man, there's no way I could watch all of that because at this point, <laughs> you know, I'm so far into it. There's no way I'm going back and starting over. You know what I mean? So let's see. Let's see how this goes. Now, here's the other thing. All right. Here's the other thing. I'm going to need your help because after being away from a game for a year, okay, a year, I don't know how it's going to go today. I, I might have forgotten everything. You know, and I'm trying to remember. And by the way, I did watch the final part of the playthrough that it went on hiatus before I got that false copyright strike from Atlas. Okay. And I did refresh myself a little bit because I know where the plot is. We just recruited the new member. I forget her name, but we just recruited the new girl. And her dad was supposed to have a change of heart. Come to, But instead of, you know, in other cases where people basically had a change of heart and became better people. In this case, the guy kills himself. And you're like, holy shit, that was not what we had expected, right? <clears throat> so, yeah. Let's see what happens. Continuing on with this plot. Also, keep in mind, what I got to do now is I got to start getting into the daily routine. Because this, this game has limited days where you can do stuff. So, every day I got to try to maximize my time. And I'm really going to need your guys' help to figure out what to do. Because it's been a year. I'm, I don't even remember what the hell I was doing. All right? I, I don't know where I am with the social links. I don't remember half the shit. So definitely, I'm going to need your guys' input, okay? Her name is Haru? Okay, the girl's name is Haru, who we just recruited to the... Sh the uh... And that's the other thing, are they the Shadow Thieves? I know it's the Thieves Guild, but what were they called? Were they the Shadow Thieves? I know they steal your heart and give you a change of heart, but were they called the Shadow Thieves, or was it something else? I'm trying to remember, see what I mean? Like, I remember the general stuff, but I don't remember the specifics. <laughs> After a year of having to concentrate on other stuff, it's hard to go back, right? The Phantom Thieves. Thank you. They're called the Phantom Thieves. That's right. And of course, my group is called 77 Fatless. 77 <laughs> Fatless. But no, uh, they are the. That's right. They are the Phantom Thieves. Thank you. Okay. So, this will be a fun stream. I'm really looking forward to this. Four hours of Persona 5 advancement, getting back into the groove of the game, getting the playthrough moving and going again. Let's see how today goes. And like I said, depending on how today goes and maybe next week. We'll determine if I'm going to keep this as a main gameplay stream or if this will end up being something that goes on the back burner and ends up being like a nighttime stream, okay? With 20 to 25 hours to go, even if I make this a main stream, we're talking five, six sessions, so you're talking a couple weeks here where I'll be playing Persona 5 before I beat it, okay? Now, tonight, tonight, my friends, I'm doing a second stream before I start my time off for the weekend. As you know, Saturdays is my day off from streaming. Tonight, I'm playing a fighting game. And I had a poll on my Twitter overnight to determine what the game would be. And you guys may be wondering, well, what won? By a very narrow margin, I believe it was only a few percent points, the winner of the poll was Fighting EX Layer. Okay? So what that tells me is a couple things. Number one, people are liking my fighting game coverage, or else why would the poll be so close? You know what I mean? Number two... I, you know, people are liking all the games I'm playing. They like to just see me play fighting games in general. It wasn't like, well, we really like Phil to play one game in particular, and that's it. Um, and so understand that even though tonight it looks like I am playing more fighting EX Layer, that does not mean that I'm not playing other Street Fighter games soon. I will be. Okay. But tonight will be a session of fighting EX Layer, and we'll see how it goes. Another two hours. You know, it's kind of hit or miss when I play the game, if I can get matches or not. Um, last time I played it, actually, I had a really good set, in my opinion. I learned a lot about the game, and I actually did decently with my Shadow Geist character who I've been using, okay? So, I'll be doing a little bit more Fighting EX Layer tonight. 
two hours. We'll see how that goes. Okay, tomorrow's my day off from streaming. Then on Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely 100% official. On Sunday, as long as everything works, which I have to test over the weekend, I'll probably tomorrow I'll be testing my PlayStation 3 and my HDMI by, uh, you know, copy protection bypass setup. But as long as all the equipment still works, starting Sunday, I'm actually going to be playing Jack 3. And I know some of you will be like, what the hell, what, really? After years and fucking years of people asking for this playthrough, but the playthrough never winning a single poll, I decided I wanted to play Jack 3 now during downtime. Because now it's now or never. The way That's my attitude at this point. It's now or never. And right now there's literally nothing going on with new gameplay releases. Now is the time. If I'm going to play this game, I need to get it done now. Okay? So... Yes, I am going to be starting Jack 3 this Sunday, all right? And so, what you're going to see this coming week is an alternation between Jack 3 and Persona 5 and some Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered, okay? And then you're going to also see fighting games like the Street Fighters, maybe some more fighting EX layer, maybe the return of a game like H1Z1 or PUBG. So there's going to be a good a good mix and variety of content for you this coming week. So that way not one you know person will get bored and say, oh, every day Phil's doing boring stuff I don't like. I'm going to literally be doing different stuff every day. Okay? So there's really no excuse here. It should be a fun variety kind of a week coming up next week. All right? So, should be good. Let's see how things go. And then, of course, keep in mind, guys, you know, also coming this July, FYI, uh, once I start wrapping up other stuff, I am looking to do other downtime playthroughs and some candidates. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to be playing as my next official playthrough. It's going to probably break the million view mark here on Twitch. We're going to make streaming uh, streaming history with the most viewers ever on stream when I play Achu Achu Uha. <laughs> Holy crap. Whew. Thank you to those who said bless you in the stream chat. Okay, so what I meant to say <clears throat> before I completely went to a sneezing fit was uh, coming up later on in July will be uh, probably a Silent Hill game or two. A lot of people have said they wanted me to play Silent Hill 2 a second time, but others have been clamoring for... I forget which game it was. There's one, one major Silent Hill game I've never played, and some people are saying they'd like to see me play that. So I'm considering a Silent Hill game this summer. There does seem to be... Some <laughs> Popsicolo says is Achu Achu Uha, the sequel to El Shaddai. Yes, it is. How did you know? And there'll be more dancing, more neon disco dancing. There seems to be some desire for me to go back and play Vice City this summer. Since I already replayed San Andreas earlier this year, and that was a hit. People really liked it. Um, and since this is my 10th anniversary as a content creator... And it was the summer of 20, uh, 2012 when I played these classic GTA games. And people really, really seemed to dig when I played them. And people still hold them synonymously as like the, some of the best playthroughs I've ever done. Yes, I am considering doing Vice City at some point during July as well. However, it would have to be music-free, which sucks. I know. I want to do the music, but there's no way I could do it. The whole playthrough would end up getting copyright-stricken. Everything would just be a mess. So, so there you go. So this July is going to be great. Okay, the July is going to be great. I think it's going to be a great month because usually it's the deadest month of the year for games and gameplay. But since I am doing so much fun downtime stuff and juggling it around and doing it pretty well here, I think you guys are liking it. In fact, guys, this was officially the most supportive week ever when it came to things like cheering. I mean, you guys were amazing this week. So thank everyone who cheered this week. In fact, what I'd like to do before we even get started with anything else, I want to give props to the top 10 cheerers for the week because you guys were incredibly supportive, all right? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's just go right through the top 10, okay? In 10th place this week, PS Geek 23. In 9th place, Mark McCauley. In 8th place, Dirk 2. In 7th place, The Russian Love Machine. In 6th place, we've got Lav. In 5th place, Orange X Juice. In 4th place, Infinite 55. And now the big top 3. In third place, the Lord Lamb V3. In second place, Emperor Swaggins. And of course, in first place last night, doing the largest cheer I've ever received on a stream ever at once, Ost Mink. 
He did a 50,000 bit cheer last night in celebration of me finishing off the Simpsons hit and run. And it was much appreciated. Thank you very much, everyone, for your support. Okay. <clears throat> you guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. So, what a great week it's been. Also, you guys may notice if you're looking at the, at the stream stats, we got way up there in subs. We jumped a ton of subs. We're only about, what, 26 subs away from hitting the monthly goal, guys. So please consider today subbing to the channel, especially with the return of Persona 5. Now's a great time to subscribe um, because this game will be back into the rotation. Only oh, these 26 more subs, we're going to be doing the 10 Years of Rage anniversary event i really want to do this event it would be a great celebratory event this fall to celebrate my official 10 year anniversary as a content creator okay <clears throat> okay so ladies and gentlemen thanks for being patient let's very quickly do some plugs then i want to do shout outs because many of you have already been cheering subbing and tipping here on the pre-stream and i want to get to that and i want to update the leaderboard so let me very briefly go through the plugs and then we'll get to that okay so thank you guys very, very much for your support. 10 years of support. 10 years I've been able to do what I love for a living. I've been having tons of fun. As you guys know, the streams recently have been absolutely great. Um, and I love the variety I'm able to do here during the summer when there's no new games. It's fun to be able to still do entertaining stuff for you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me every single day. And in particular, the best way to support me and keep me doing what I'm doing is to watch the streams and watch the YouTube videos. I think everyone knows that though, right? <laughs> So if you'd like to go above and beyond just being a standard stream viewer and video watcher and help support the effort to allow me to keep doing this as my full-time gig, well, there are many ways you could do that. The first would be to go over and check out my Patreon, all right, over at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. This is a monthly pledge campaign where if you pledge to my Patreon, you're directly helping me with the cost of doing business, including the very many expenses that I go through, things like electricity, cost of games, uh, and paying for my own health insurance because I'm self-employed, uh, you know, internet, which I have business class internet, the most expensive possible, uh, all those things, all right, you help me out with that, but the cool thing about Patreon is you get stuff back for your pledges, you earn personal perks depending on how much you contribute, in particular, if you actually want me to know, uh, the, the best perk, in my opinion, is if you pledge $5 or more to my Patreon during a month, you get to participate in events where you get to nominate and vote on things for these special events. So, for example, if we do hit the subscriber goal this month, which it looks like we're very close to hitting, I'm doing that 10 Years of Rage event. And what you'll be able to do if you pledge $5 or more to my Patreon by the end of July, you'll be nominating and voting on your very favorite moments of any content that I've put out in the past 10 years that is still visible on YouTube. I have to emphasize that because there have been some videos that were taken down for copyright reasons, videos that were taken down for other various reasons. Those would not be eligible, all right? And in particular, yeah, I'm sure people are going to be like, oh, I'm going to troll Phil and try to do this and that and pick specific things that wouldn't make sense. Obviously, we're going to have more rules and regulations about this event later. But you're going to be able to pick your favorite playthroughs, your favorite moments from playthroughs, something that happened on a trip that I went on, like a vlog of a, of a, of a, a convention or something. There's so much stuff that you can look at from 10-year legacy that I have on the, on the internet. All right? 10 years that you'll be able to nominate and vote on. All right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a special marathon stream day where we go through these things that were nominated and voted on by these patrons, and we're going to watch them all back. I'm going to react to them live with you guys in the stream chat, and we're going to see, you know, how different has Phil been over the years? You know, back in the day, I was a very different guy, and, you know, I've evolved in a big way over the years, right? So it's going to be cool, a cool event, a good way to, 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 to kind of reminisce, but a cool way also to say, you know, a 10-year legacy and celebrate my 10-year anniversary. It's going to be great, okay? <sighs> So, uh, that being said, uh, please consider pledging to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Thanks to everyone who is a current patron, anyone considering becoming a future one. Uh, more info on, you know, events and stuff in the future as it becomes available, all right? Number two, guys, as you can obviously see if you're watching the stream right now, I have a Teespring shop where I sell all kinds of fun merchandise, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, stickers, mugs, high-quality stuff. I can attest to the quality because I own a bunch of it, and I've owned some of it for over a year, including a couple t-shirts that have never faded or worn out, and a mug that I use every single day here on stream. So, great quality stuff at my Teespring shop. Anything you buy from my Teespring shop, I get a commission from. It helps me out, but you also get a cool collectible. Please check it out over at teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP Gaming. Okay? And then, last but not least, 
If you're here live on the stream today for the big momentous return of Persona 5 and you want to get involved, you want to get a shout out and have some interaction during the stream, there's three ways you could do that, either by cheering with bits, by subscribing to the channel, or by tipping me. If you do any of those three things during today's stream, you'll actually be able to get a, a shout out from me. Now, keep in mind, this is a JRPG. There are some big narrative segments where I'm doing a lot of dialogue and a lot of cutscene and stuff. I'm not going to interrupt those with a shout out, but... In between that, any of the open world exploration, the side missions, the combat, I'll be giving you shout outs live during the stream, okay? Pretty nice. Please, the only criteria I ask if you're trying to get a shout out, please try to stay positive. Don't bring up negative stuff. Don't bring up detractor stuff. Don't bring up drama. Don't bring up any kind of negative crap. I don't care about that stuff. And the thing is, we're trying to have a positive and fun interactive gameplay stream where people can come here and feel at home and feel safe and feel like they're having a great time and they can just chill and be, you know, relaxed. That's the bottom line. We don't want people to come out drama constantly and insulting each other. So please keep that out of the the uh, the, the shout outs. And in addition, please try to stay on topic. Please try to be short worded. You know, the briefer you are, the more on topic you are. Obviously, there's a higher chance I'm going to read your shout out. Keep in mind, this is my personal stream. I own all the rights to it. Therefore, I don't have any obligation to read every single thing that someone tries to, to get a shout out for. It's subjective based on what I feel is best for the stream. Okay. Now, maybe you would like to go the further step and you'd like to get a visual animation to play during the course of the stream all right well you could do that as well you can get a nice animation to play if you either cheer 50 bits or more in one cheer if you subscribe to the channel and wait a few minutes and then click on the share button that appears on the stream or if you tip me five dollars or more in one single tip and a cool thank you animation will play on the stream and you know that way you'll get both visual and verbal recognition for your contributions okay now i've already mentioned subscribing what benefits do you get for subscribing to the channel? Well, first of all, you, you are contributing to the monthly goal. Right now, like I said, we're only 26 subs away. We might have actually gotten closer because a few, a few people actually did subscribe during this pre-stream. So I'll check in a bit and see if it went up or down or whatever, okay? So, number one, you're, you're contributing to get that goal happen. Number two, you get all, access to all of my emotes. All of the cool emotes that are here on the stream that you can use not only here but in all other... Uh, you know, places too, everyone else's channel, you can do these emotes as well. In addition, you get the cool chat crown badge to show how long you've been a subscriber. It changes color depending on how long of a subscriber you've been. And also, when I run advertisements during the streams, you don't have to watch them. You, you They will not have to play for you, which is cool. A lot of people hate ads. I'm one of them. So that's a huge benefit, right? Okay. So, everyone. That's the benefits of subbing. Please consider subbing. Again, we're around 26 away from being able to hit the monthly goal. All right. And then, last but not least, everyone, if you would like to contribute in the best possible way and help me out the most you can today, because I just mentioned a bunch of ways you can contribute, cheering, subbing, tipping, Patreon, Teespring, right? The best way for today that you can really help me is by tipping me. The reason being when you tip me, I get those funds immediately because it's through PayPal. And right now is the tightest time of the month financially for me where all of my bills are clearing. And I've got about four more days to go before I'm going to get paid for the month of uh, May uh, for all the work that I did in May. Because everything is delayed. YouTube, Twitch, everything is delayed two months. So right now I'm very nervous that... I may get overdrawn on my bank account. Things are very financially tight. So whatever you guys contribute immediately, I can put into my bank account to cover bills. And right now, I literally did that this last week with some of the tips that came in. So you guys helped me tremendously in that regard. So please consider tipping me. How do you tip? There's two different ways you could tip. First of all, if you look below the stream, there's a button that says tips jar. If you click on that button, it takes you to my tips jar page. Okay. Um, and that way, you can... Uh, go to my PayPal uh, tips page and either leave an anonymous tip or you can leave your name in a message if you want to shout out during the stream. Now, if you cannot see the tips jar button, that's okay. You may be on a mobile version of the site. If that's the case, just type in exclamation point tip into the stream chat. Boom, it'll bring up the link so that you can actually go ahead and leave a tip via that method. Okay, so please consider tipping. It helps me out the most, and for the next week, I'm going to be real tight financially, but I'm almost to the point where I get paid, and then I can stop mentioning this on pre-streams, okay? All right. So thanks, everyone, for your contributions very much. Let's now get to shout-outs for those who did cheer, sub, and tip uh, during today's stream. However, what I'd like to do is, again, give, give credit where credit is due to those who actually contributed overnight. That's right. There's a group of people 
who aren't here on the stream, or maybe they are here on the stream, but they were here overnight when I wasn't even uh, broadcasting, and they contributed. And I want to give them a shout out before we get to people from today's stream. Okay, so first of all, we had Infinite Fifty Five who did a 190 bit cheer. Thank you very much, Infinite. By the way, Infinite, it was good to see you on stream last night because I know you haven't been able to make them recently. It was cool to see you there for the conclusion of the Simpsons. Hardy Buck cheer. 50 bits. He says, glad to hear you're playing Jack 3. You'll really enjoy it. One of my favorite games of all time. And the Lollicop did a 25-bit cheer. One thing I will bring up, my friends. I already kind of said, alluded to this, but I'll say it again. Please, guys, on the streams, don't bring up negative detractor stuff. All right? Sometimes people just legitimately bring it up because they're concerned or something. This is not the place for it. And so, in particular, Lollicop referenced something. And I'm like, dude, there's nothing I can do about this. Is you know... We don't need to know about this. This is not something I'm going to talk about on the stream. So, in particular, I'm not going to read his cheer, and I hope he doesn't take it to heart that I didn't. But, you know, if there is something going on, you know, with, with negative stuff regarding me, the stream is not the place to discuss it. There are many venues by which you could contact me or discuss this stuff outside of the streams, okay? All right. Now, let us get to those who cheered, subbed, and tipped during today's stream itself, and let's get this leaderboard updated for those who deserve it, okay? So, first of all, we start off today with Kate, who did a 50-bit cheer and said, Happy Taco Friday. Hope everything is going well for you this fine Friday. Thank you very much, Kate, for that cheer to get things started. Yeah, I'm excited for today. You know, getting back into Persona 5, a game that I absolutely loved. And I hope that, you know, today, with the aid of the stream chat, I can fully get back immersed in the game and get back on track. Eternal Napalm did a 100-bit cheer. He said, Hey, Phil and chat, I am. So he botched it, because for some reason, his cheer did not complete. However, he is the current top cheerer. Let's get him on the leaderboard. With 100 bits. So thank you, Eternal Napalm, for the cheer. Then he cheered 25 bits to actually finish his cheer. <laughs> and he says, I'm happy to see everyone. Hope everyone's having fun today. On day three of a 12-day vacation, it's wonderful. I'll be, it'll be cool seeing Persona 5 today. There you go. I agree. Ultimate Boss did a 50-bit cheer. He says, I'm excited for the return of Persona 5. And remember, uh, 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 not screenshot for you. So I said, uh, 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 you can't take a screenshot. How dare you try to take a screenshot of Persona 5? Not allowed. <laughs> All right, shout out to Kate who cheered again and said, shout out to Corndog for being lewd. I don't really know what that means, but there you go. Missing No cheered and said something. I have no idea what it was. I asked him what he meant in the stream chat. He didn't answer, so I'm not reading his cheer. Oh, well. Beard Tendy did a 50-bit cheer. He says, I'm glad DSP has axes around his house in case, in case, oh my goodness. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bring this up. I'm just gonna say this. We have a new name for one of my biggest detractors. Someone who regularly, constantly steals my content because he can't put out any quality content of his own and gets no attention when he tries. And we got a new nickname for him that we're all gonna use in the stream chat. But I'm not gonna start talking about it publicly. But that was pretty fucking funny. When someone said his name wrong, I said, that is the best nickname ever. We got to start using that regularly in stream chat. And we are now from now on. <laughs> All right. Anyway, here we go. Eternal Napalm also did a cheer in regards to that. And I'm not going to read it, but thank you for the cheer. Uh, Kate did a 165-bit cheer. And said, here have all my bits. So Kate actually has now overtaken Eternal Napalm and is the top cheerer for today. So let's get Kate up here on the leaderboard. Oops, Kate. 165. 165 bits. Thank you, Kate. Very nice. Kate Kate actually getting to the top of the leaderboard. It's a rarity, you know, that she gets up there, but she's up there. Good stuff. Uh, Murdoch did a $15 tip. Thank you very much, Murdoch, for the $15 tip. Very generous. And he says, P Persona 5 Hype, one of my favorite RPGs. I hope Tokyo is ready for DSP. All right, so let's get Murdoch up on the leaderboard. For that $15 tip, thank you very much, Murdoch. Top tipper for today so far. All right, let's get this into position now. Okay, continuing on. Kula just did a 55-bit share, and he said, Jack 3 and Persona 5 hype. I agree. I'm very, very hype uh, for both. So, very nice. Uh, B-Boy Cyclone has resubscribed to the channel for the 10th month in a row. Thank you for 10 ongoing months of support, B-Boy Cyclone. I appreciate your support very much. Thank you, thank you. Ultimate Boss just cheered again. He says, I tried to get my boyfriend to get Persona 5. He said no, and I got mad, so he bummed me. Great. <laughs> That's just what we needed to know. Thanks for that information. <laughs> Alrighty then. Kula cheered. 
Is it sending some good spirit? Thank you, Kula, for the good spirit. We all could always use some more good spirit. So thank you very much for that, Kula. All right. Shout out to Russ Money. Russ Money, subscribe to the channel, also for the 10th month in a row. A lot of 10 month resubbers today. Thank you, Russ Money, for the 10 months of ongoing support. And he says, DSP Cowboy is one of my favorite emotes. That's right, the, the emote with me and the cowboy hat. A lot of people like that one. Okay, shout out to John Cook. <laughs> what a name. And he said, he cheers and says, Hey, Phil, I wanted you to know. how." Uh, let me try this again. Boy, I didn't read. I wanted you to know, no matter how much people slander you or exaggerate what you say, you'll always have us and we'll be here for you, friend. All right, thank you very much, John Cook. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yolo Dopper cheered. He said, get some dumbbells through Amazon and start working out your triceps. Your arms are flabby. Wow. Yes, definitely. <laughs> what on earth is going on? Uh, Alistrom did a 78-bit cheer. He says, wait, you mean that you can, we can use emotes and channels other than the one they came from? Yes. Wow, did you not know? Wait, maybe people weren't aware of this. When you subscribe to someone on Twitch, you get access to use their emotes in any chat on Twitch. So, you know all, all those fighting game emotes that I have? The Fireball, the Hadouken, me looking like Ryu? You can go use those in other people's chats. A lot of people go to other people's chats and throw fireballs at other emotes, you know? It's kind of cool. So, that's one of the reasons to come sub is to get access to these really cool emotes. Very nice. All right. Shout out to Dr. Games 101. And, oh, it scrolled off the screen. What the hell? It scrolled off the screen. There we go. Dr. Games 101 did a dollar tip. He says, keep it up, Phil. I hope you have a good summer of 2018. There you go. Thank you very much. I, I hope I have a good summer, too. I hope, I hope that the summer is good for both of us because you guys are here hanging out with me every day during the summer, right? Playing games and having fun. That's what it's all about. Now, having a summer where we can share some fun experiences together. So, yeah, hope the summer goes well. I hope it does. I hope that uh, you guys will come out and hang out with me every day. Okay? All right. So the lollipop cheered again, and he says, are you worried because there's still a date in the game that supposedly is a date you're supposed to stop playing it by? Um, I know that, but the bottom line is most people have played past it. There are ridiculous amounts of playthroughs of this game up on the internet. Um, at this point, I don't think Atlas is going to care since the, the game is a year old. It's one thing when their game is brand new, and they're trying to stop people from spoiling the end. I mean, just think about what a waste of time and how just load a lack of effectiveness it would have if they actually tried to take down my playthrough of this game over a year after its release <laughs> that would be pretty ineffective don't you think um I, I don't know what the point of that would be and by the way i'm aware you know if it happens i could just go right back to the to atlas usa and be like what gives could you guys get this removed again this is ridiculous i waited a year to play your damn game please you know get rid of this and i get the feeling they would just like they did last time so uh, yeah, so there you go, and, uh, you know, I'm not really too worried about it at all, okay? All right, shout out to Beard Tendy. Oh, wait a minute, I, I, I screwed up. Lollicop cheered, uh, in his cheer, he also asked, will Mario Tennis return? Well, here's the thing, I didn't delete Mario Tennis, but I'll be honest with everyone, I don't like it. Like, that's, it's Mario Tennis seems like a game, if I really want to play it and be effective at it, I'm gonna have to play it a lot. Like, I'm going to have to play it two, three times a week, play against all the different characters who have variations on their gameplay, find a one that's my style, play the shit out of it to get good at it. I don't want to do that. I have way too many other games to play, and quite frankly, I didn't really enjoy the game that much to begin with. Like, I'm not, if it's a game that I was having fun, and even though it was difficult, I would say, okay, I'll go back to it, but I'm not. I'm really not having that much fun with it, and I don't see the point when there's tons of other stuff I could be doing that I could be enjoying. I mean, that's kind of 50% of the deal. 50% of the deal is I'm enjoying myself, and 50% of the deal is you guys are enjoying watching me. So, you know, this is a rare case where some people did enjoy watching me play that game, but I don't like it, so I don't see the point in going back to it. However, I'm not deleting it. Keep in mind, guys, the rage is coming soon. If you guys aren't aware, this Sunday I'm going to set up the poll for people to start nominating and voting. Not the poll, but the thread, excuse me, on my forums. Uh, patrons are going to start nominating and voting on games for the upcoming rage event that's going to take place next month. I guarantee you, Mario Tennis will be nominated as one of those games. <laughs> so, so there you go. Okay. Uh, shout out 
To Beard Tendy, who did a 150-bit cheer. Thank you very much, Beard Tendy. I appreciate that. Ultimate Boss did a 50-bit cheer. He said, joking with my last cheer, I hope you enjoy Persona 5. It is the true game of the year. Well, thank you very much. Eternal Napalm did a 50-bit cheer. He says, I have a suggestion. For DSP tries it, go to a local PetSmart or Petco and hold snakes. Uh, who do you think I am? Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, the, the movie Pee Wee's Big Adventure, which, by the way, was absolutely huge uh, back in the day. Huge. I mean, Pee Wee Herman, before his whole scandal, used to actually be in the 1980s, this giant famous guy, okay? Uh, in that movie, he goes to a pet store, he runs out of the pet store, his arms full of, of uh, his arms full of snakes. And he goes, oh, and he passes out. No, I'm not going to be doing that. How ridiculous. Oh, uh, let's see. Ultimate Boss cheered again. And he says, Game of the Year 2017, I mean. So he was trying to say that he felt that Persona 5 could be Game of the Year 2017. The bottom line is, guys, if I actually had been allowed to finish Persona 5 last year, uh, Persona 5 may have been a contender, if not my winner, for Game of the Year. It, it might have been. Because, you know, last year, if you remember, Mario uh, Super Mario Odyssey won my Game of the Year awards. And I'll be honest, Persona 5 was pretty much on par with that. From, you know, as far as I'd gotten in the game up to that point, the amount of content, the graphics, the gameplay, the music in particular, the, 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 the voice act, everything. The game was on par as one of the best JRPGs I've ever played. I mean, it might have even, if I had been able to continue to play it, it might have beaten it, Super Mario Odyssey, and been my game of the year. But you know what? <laughs> Look what happened. It's Atlas. Stupid Atlas of Japan doing dumb stuff that, uh, that screwed all that up, you know? Okay. All right, shout out to Baby Jim Bob, who cheered and said, I can't wait for this soccer shit to end so people will stop talking about it. <laughs> yes, as we know, everyone, World Cup mania is still in effect. The World Cup is still going on. And yes, people are still constantly talking about the World Cup, even in my stream chat. Um, and that being said, uh, you know, it is what it is. I can't control it. You know people are going to be interested in it. They're going to be bringing it up. I know nothing about it. I don't know anything about football or soccer, or whatever you want to call it. I, you know, I don't watch sports at all, so I'm totally out of the know when it comes to this stuff. Um, and so I'm just kind of scratching my head when people start bringing it up. I'm like, well, did this team win? Did that team win? Are you guys? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So I'm not going to tell you guys not to talk about it, but just understand that if you turn my stream chat into World Cup talk, I'm going to be completely lost, and it's going to be a disconnect between the stream and you guys because I will not know what the hell's going on. Okay. Save the pig, the game. Did a 200-bit cheer and said, who's your favorite star from jo or stand from JoJo? Excuse me. Mine is King Crimson. Well, the thing is, I've never seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I used to play... They had a video game, a fighting game of it, if you could believe it, in the 1990s, around the same era as Street Fighter 3 came out. Capcom wanted to use their new hardware, the CPS3 hardware, for other games because they felt that if they had only did it for uh, Street Fighter 3, that was a waste of money and investment. So they made other games, and one of them was JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And I remember there was some weird... There's a dog, a little dog, that had a stand of a giant, like, demon bull or something. Um, and then the main character had a cool stand. There was a lot of different stands. One of them had a sword. I'm trying to remember. One of them was, like, this cool ghost that would possess you. Uh, that was a cool game. But I was never good at it, and no one really played it competitively. At least where I was from. Um, so, honestly, I couldn't answer your questions... Because I don't know much about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure at all. But, uh, yeah, thank you for the cheer. And, yes, I think the reason he brought that up is because one of these pieces of fan art from Popsicola, which, by the way, he made a year ago. This was the original, Some of these fan arts you guys are seeing on stream are a year old. These are from last year when I was playing Persona 5 and I brought them back. Although a couple of them are new as well. So thanks to anyone who makes fan art for me. You know, it definitely adds to the quality of the streams. But there's one that's drawn in the style of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And that's why I think he's bringing that up. So Okay, so anyway, you are the top cheerer for the day. Let's get you up there. There we go. Okay. There we are. All right. So thank you for that. I might have to change the, the bar at the top of the screen because I don't know if this is going to fit. We'll see. There's a piece of fan art that exposes it. We'll be able to see if it fits or not. Actually, hold on. I'm just going to check. Ugh. It, it, like, barely fits. 
it kind of looks shitty. All right, I think I'm gonna have to switch. I think I'm gonna have to switch this guy. So hold on, my hair sticking straight up, by the way, as usual. Uh, let's do this. Let's do. We're gonna have to go with this one, I think. Okay, gonna have to go with that one. What can you do, right? <clears throat> okay. So thank you for the cheer. All right. And RFHC5 just cheered. And he said, my friend said, nice fan arts. Very nice. Um, Deluxe Swine just did a 300-bit cheer. And I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. I think he might be doing a troll message or something. I have no idea what he's saying. I'm not reading that. But uh, but you are the, tier, the top cheerer for today. <laughs> so there you go. You'll get up on the leaderboard, but I'm not reading what you say. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay. So there you go. 300 bits. All right. So oh, also what I want to do, right, before we, we end the pre-stream, I want to see how our subs are doing because we did get a few subs during the pre-stream. I want to see if they went up or down. Subs subscribers went up by one. Guys, we're only 25 subs away from hitting the monthly goal. I mean, we're very close. If at all you were considering subbing to the channel, today would be a great day to do it. Because with our amount of people that are here to see the return of Persona 5, we could hit the goal today. All right? And that would be amazing. Then we can move on because there is a st Tier 2 goal to bring another Patron's Choice playthrough to the front. As you guys know, recently I played Half-Life 2 and I just finished Simpsons Hit and Run. Both playthroughs were very successful and people loved them. So the Patron's Choice stuff has been doing really, really well. Uh, and so it makes sense to do another one, right? Which is why my Tier 2 subs goal for this month is another Patriots Choice playthrough. So, please, guys, consider subbing if you can. All right? It'll help out the channel, but it'll also make this goal happen. Okay? Uh, ISD Captain Cheers says, Do you think it is possible to have a strictly platonic relationship with the opposite gender? Yes, I do. Why not? That's like saying, is it is it is it possible to have a, just a platonic relationship, period, or will every relationship become so close that you become romantically entwined? The answer is no, because the bottom line is everyone has different attractions to different genders, and there's some people who are attracted to their same gender, some people are attracted to both genders, some people are attracted to the opposite gender. Just because you're attracted to a certain gender does not mean that you necessarily have to fall in love romantically with someone because you are affiliated with them and have a relationship with them. I've had several female friends in my life who I never got romantically entwined with, um, you know. In particular, back in the days, a lot of my coworkers, when I used to work at various jobs, were female, and I would get to know them, hang out with them. Some of them, hell, I went to two of their weddings, you know, and I was never romantically interested in them. So the answer is absolutely yes. That is correct. You can okay. All right. Um. So I think at this point we've now covered everything. Okay. I think we've covered... I'm trying to just think if there's anything else. Um, no, I think I think we've covered everything. We did all the shout-outs, so that's good. I already read the top 10 cheerers for the week. I think we're good to go. So one final time, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for being here for the return of Persona 5. Thanks for your, your support and contributions. Shout-out to Deluxe Swine for the top cheer of 300 bits and also to Murdoch for the top tip of $15. If anyone cheers higher than that or tips more than that you will get up there and you will become you know part of the leaderboard and please guys again one final time if you are if you do have the choice of how you'd like to contribute during today's stream you know i know i've mentioned a million things you know patreon teespring cheering sub and tipping the best way to help me today is tipping me because tipping me i get that money right away it's gonna help out with my bills and stuff so please consider tipping me that is the way to go if you really want to help Thank you to everyone who has contributed. All right. <clears throat> that is it. I'm going to end the pre-stream. We're going to jump back into Persona 5. And I'm going to try to figure out what the hell's going on in the game. Because I have no idea. Oh, B Baby Jim Bob just cheered. He said the stream must go on. The pre-stream, that is, Kappa. He wants the pre-stream to continue, ladies and gentlemen. Baby Jim Bob, with that one cheer, has prolonged the length of the pre-stream. He is solely responsible for the fact that I am still talking and have not ended the pre-stream. So thank you to Baby Jim Bob for that cheer. Uh, it is very much appreciated that you have cheered and, and wished to extend 
the length of the pre-stream. I do appreciate that. All right. All right. All right, guys. Now, that is actually officially it. That is the end of the pre-stream. Again, thank you guys for being supportive. Please help me, guys, with Persona 5 as I jump back in here. Because I'm not going to know what the holy hell I'm doing. I mean, like I said, I remember where I am in the plot. But I don't remember the, how far I am with certain social links. I don't remember what I was in the middle of with the side content at all. I don't remember, you know, what's the best way to max out certain stats. What stats have I maxed, you know. I don't remember any of that. So I'm going to need your advice to figure out what to do. I know Popsicolo earlier in stream chat was saying I need to go to the fortune teller and try to max her link. But I don't even remember how to do that or what days I could visit her. So I'm going to need a lot of help and guidance to get back into this playthrough after being a year away. So I hope you guys are ready for some interactivity because there's going to be a ton of it on today's stream. Okay? All right. Thank you guys for all of your support. It is now time to end the pre-stream and jump back into the world of Persona 5. Thanks, everyone. It is now time. Let us end it officially right now. I'm going to click on stop. Wait a minute. Save the pig the game. Just to 300 bit cheer and said, buy anti-status items for the final boss, Kappa. Well, there you go. Save the pig the game. It's tied for top cheer, and the way I'm doing it now is that I eliminate the person who did it before, so it's now. Save the pig the game has become the top cheerer. Just like that. So thank you very much, Save the pig the game. And uh, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure he's referencing my Persona 3 finish. There you go. Chris is cool CD, just cheer. He said, my birthday is coming up. Can't wait for some DSP content. If you stream that, Jan, it's July 12th. Um, let's see here. July 12th. Yeah, yeah, I'll be I'll be definitely streaming uh, July 12th. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, uh, so that now officially, guys, that is it for the end of the pre-stream. Wait, hold on. Obi-Wan Kenobi... Just cheer 25 bits as my birthday is July 10th. Well, early happy birthday to both of you guys. I'll be streaming on both those days. So if you have time, swing by and hang out with me. If not, it's cool. Have a fun birthday. Hope you get everything that you wanted. <laughs> okay. All right. That is it now, guys, for the pre-stream. Thank you guys very much for being supportive. Thank you for all of your cheer subs, tips, everything this morning. It is now finally time for me to end the pre-stream. I'm going to click this button that says stop recording. I'm going to switch over, and we're going to start playing the game. For the first time in over a year, it's the return of Persona 5 here on the streams. Okay? Thank you. Wait a minute. Kate just cheered. It says, Phil, you are the Tom Cruise of Twitch streams. I am the Tom Cruise of Twitch streams. That's what she just said. That's both, I guess, a compliment as well as incredibly disturbing. Because Tom Cruise is a weird guy. So I don't know how to take this. I'm very confused. <clears throat> Baby Jim Bob just cheered again. It says, it must go on. Baby Jim Bob extending once again the length of the pre-stream with his cheer. Again, thank you guys for your contributions. Your cheers are much appreciated. You guys are awesome and supportive. And I, I'm happy that you guys love what I do. Because I love doing it for a living. So I certainly hope that you guys are having fun with the stream. Okay? All right. I think now it is time, since things have now slowed down, to end the pre-stream. All right, guys. Thank you very much. The time has come. And let us jump back into Persona 5. After over a year away, like I said, last time I played this was late June 2017. It is now time to jump back into the lives of the Phantom Thieves and see how this story wraps up. All right, that is it. Thanks, guys. And let's end the pre-stream right 